Adipose cells also make other hormones, including adiponectin. Adiponectin is actually anti-inflammatory and reduces heart disease risk. Interestingly, as we have less adipose cells, more of this hormone is made, and we make more of it uh, while we are losing weight. Thus, it is tied to weight loss and being lean. In, um, decreased levels of adiponectin are seen in those who have, are obese, have heart disease, and have diabetes. And low levels of adiponectin are correlated with a number of physiological problems. Adipose also makes the hormone resistant which causes the body to be more and more resistant to insulin's effects uh, as we gain weight, causing more and more insulin to be secreted. Since abdominal adipose secretes more resistant than adipose in other parts of the body, this explains why abdominal fat is more dangerous to health than fat in other places. Adipose also secretes a number of inflammatory signals, signals which are capable of guiding white blood cell movement, of causing the production of inflammatory uh, signals and processes. Uh, and so these also come from adipose. The problem as we gain weight is that an excess of these inflammatory signals, especially a chronic secretion of inflammatory signals as we are overweight, is correlated with a number of negative health outcomes, such as increased risk of heart disease, of asthma, uh, increased risk of diabetes, uh, increased risk of cancers, a variety of cancers including breast cancer, and a number of other negative consequences.